Hello everyone, uh, my name is Vipul Nair and I'm doing my PhD in Informatics at the University of Hovde, Sweden. And uh, first of all, I would like to thank the ICTL organizers for making this possible. Now, uh, the topic of my talk is action similarity adjustment based on kinematic primitives. And this is a collaboration between the University of Hovde and the Italian Institute of Technology at Genova and the University of Genova. Okay, moving on. This work focuses on action similarity. And action similarity whether is whether judging whether two actions are the same or not. And in most behavioral studies, action similarity has been used as a form of measure to see whether uh, to understand action primitives or action semantics or even uh, imitations. And therefore, it forms an essential part of learning action categories and therefore action understanding. Now, from a developmental perspective, it's important that uh, the more the actions, actions are similar to each other, the easier is predict, is easier to predict the action. And therefore, it becomes very crucial for, from a child's perspective to, uh, towards imitation. And uh, if we look at the computational aspect, action similarity has been there for you know, some time. And uh, action similarity tends to be quite complicated in a realistic, in a realistic setting. And therefore, we have the action similarity labeling challenge to address it. From a social robotics point of view, action similarity have been seen, have been looked into from learning from demonstration point of view. And also, the more natural the actions are between the agents, the, the better the interaction and the intuitiveness of the interaction. This work investigates the role of kinematics in detecting action similarity in humans and using kinematic primitives as a potential mechanism towards implementing similar models in machines. Now, our questions are, can a computational model based on kinematic primitives determine action similarity among a group of actions? And for that, we picked a database of actions and had the computational model perform action similarity task on them. Now, does the model's performance relate to human similarity adjustments of the same? So for that, we had human participants perform the same task and we compare their performances. Now, do the human action similarity adjustment rely mainly on kinematic features of the action or they had access to semantics? And for that, we had uh, inversion effect, uh, inversion, inverted stimuli to test for inversion effect and also additional tasks in which we asked them specifically to identify the actions. Now, for the actions, we can see one of the actions here is just pestling action. We have the video and the respective point light displays. And uh, point light display is given to the humans, whereas the video is given to the computational model. And the point light display is because uh, it will separate the contextual information. And uh, we have, like, that's 19 other actions. And as you can see, all of them are kitchen based actions, and most of them are very familiar actions. Now, our computational model is with simple description based on kinematic primitives of actions. It's taken from uh, our collaborator's previous work. And as you can see, it's inspired from biological motion detection. And as uh, the green depicts the biological motion, whereas the red depicts the non-biological motion. And it's something that is uh, seen as a visual preference amongst infants. And I will give a very brief, in brief intro into the building of the model. Uh, so, uh, if you give an action as, a, as an input, the model will extract the tangential velocity from the optical flaw and then later on it's, it will segment them into parts based on the local maxima and the minima and which will be then sequenced over time to create the primitives. So, here the different colors den denote the different primitives. Like that, all the primitives are gathered from all of the actions and given as input to k-means clustering, which will give out a dictionary of a unique dictionary of k-primitives. Now, each sub-movement is reconstructed as an approximation of linear combination of the dictionary primitives. So, if we take a transporting action, as an example, and it can be re represented by a dictionary primitives in a different way. But here, you can see that uh, the two of the primitives are uh, more, more prominently found here with uh, force of movement. Lastly, a multi-class classifier is built with a one versus all approach. So 
For each action, there is a classifier that is trained to discriminate between itself and the others. Now, moving on to the task. The task is uh, where two actions are pitted against each other uh, for the target, and the classifiers with the highest will highest score will win the trial. And um, for on, and the video is given to the computational model. The same task, the same design is used for the humans, uh, just with the difference that is point light displays, and we have two conditions upright and inverted. And this is to test for the implicit semantic access. Now moving on to the result, uh, the result is descriptor in form of a matrix where we have uh, uh, on, on the x-axis we have target action and on the y-axis we have the matched, matched action which is the action classifier or the action choices. So the diagonals indicate the accuracy where it's correctly, where an action is correctly matched to the classifier or the choice action. Now if we compare uh, the human and the model for the accuracy we see that there is uh, no difference between them and they perform reliable, both of them perform reliably well. The second form of measure that we look into is selection bias. Uh, it's basically a bias of an action classifier or choice action to get picked as, a sim as similar to the target. It's indicated by the columns uh, and you have to subtract the accuracy value from it. So if you look at cut action, cut gets selected 49% of the time when it's an option for other actions. So basically it gets confused with others. And if we look at comparison between uh, both of them, the model has significantly greater selection bias measure than the human participants. But if we, uh, it's, it's, it's rising mainly due to few of the action classifiers. Now the possible reason for it is that, uh, that these actions, the selected actions have the most number of kinematic primitives that make up the dictionary and hence they have high accuracy also. So they have a good representation of themselves. Now the third measure that we look into is the false hit. That's the frequency of the target action to get matched wrongly, which is indicated by the rows. And uh, here in this example, we take lemon and lemon as a target action gets wrongly matched 54% of the time. Now, if we compare false hit for both, uh, we see that the model has significantly more false hit than the humans. And again, it's rising mainly due to few of the actions. And the possible reason is that uh, they are poor in representation of the action by the dictionary primitives, which may be resulting from the classifier's training process. Now, we have for, uh, future studies to see if the model's performance can be improved by increasing the number of primitives. And, uh, and also the training process with better action videos. Now the second experiment uh, to assess explicit semantic access. So in this case, we, we give them the, uh, the point light displays as in the uh, similarity task. And we ask them to choose a label, which, which they think is likely. And uh, the results show that uh, uh, participants showed poor performance in identifying the actions. So in concluding, um, the results indicate that both the humans and the uh, model reliably identify the actions, uh, which indicate that the model and the humans might be using the similar information. And the human performance was better than the model in terms of low selection, in terms of selection bias and false hits. Now, considering the model's simple, simpler action description, this uh, dissimilarity in performance is uh, relatively limited. For the humans, and, and it seems like humans relied primarily on kinematics for the given task, as we saw, we didn't see any inversion effect in addition to the poor performance in the second experiment. And in summary, the current comparison between the model and the human is based on the model's mechanism, which is inspired from biological motion detection. And we assess the extent to which the model can use a similar and simple representation for a more complex tasks such as action similarity. That's it. Thank you all. Thank you.